rewind and go back and talk about how you first started your love for comics. Where did that begin? I don't know if there's a specific place. Uh, I remember seeing uh, uh, my parents had bought a comic book for one of my friends for his, like a birthday present kind of a thing, and I saw it, and I like, started flipping through it. I was like, oh, man, what, what is this? And I, re I think it vividly kicked off that I made the decision when uh, Ultimate X-Men started, number one, I was like, I'm going to start collecting that. And I just kind of like started. And I just jumped in. I just started reading that series from the go. And then from there, I just kind of like moved into the broader Marvel and sort of like just seeing what I could pick up uh, and just sort of deep dived into it. When did you realize that you wanted to be a comic illustrator? I never kind of did. I sort of just sort of fell backwards into it. Uh, I was going to school for animation, uh, and I was drawing Marvel fan art for myself, and busting it online and all that, just doing fan art. And one day, someone at Marvel was like, "All right, well, you can tell stories, and you can draw Marvel characters. Can you just do both for us?" Um, and that's kind of just how it picked off. So, with Runaways, which has been your latest series. The fashion, I've been particularly drawn to the fashion in the series. I love it. You pay so much attention to detail in every look, in every issue. Where are your inspirations when it comes to fashion? I mean, specifically for Runaways, a lot of it comes from my life. The thing I always say is that like, I knew these kids like, growing up. Uh, I was the same age as them. I also grew up in L.A. So for approaching them in like a 2018 version, I kind of knew who they were. And sort of transitioning what their styles would be and how they would look now. I could sort of already had that ingrained in me, uh, and then I just kind of like I just spend a long time on Pinterest, and I just build wardrobes, and I just sort of figure out kind of generally who they are, and then I sort of piece around outfits that I think they could be wearing, and then I'll sort of approach like what's the context of the issue, what are they doing here, where are they, uh, are they going out, are they staying in, what kind of thing, like how much do I want to show them off, and sort of then I'll sort of build outfits around that kind of based on the context of the story. What do you think? fashion adds to a comic book so when they're wearing these different outfits instead of just in one uniform throughout an entire series what does that add to the series I mean used correctly it tells the story um, all design is storytelling and like if you can do a lot of work you can get a lot of mileage out of deciding how someone looks how someone presents themselves to the world tells a story about who they are you know how someone like you know everyone could be wearing a hoodie but how someone wears a hoodie, what color a hoodie, what style of a hoodie, can all sort of tell different things about different people. Um, so it's like a subtle thing, but you can use it to kind of convey their emotion or what they're going through without ever needing words. So going to who I think is the most fashionable character in Runaways, Carolina. You've said before that she's your favorite character in the Runaways. Can you elaborate on that? Why? Uh, I mean, I think specifically... Easily it was that like, she was probably the one I like. I'm still friends with the Carolina I knew back in high school. Like I'm still friends with her, um, and so like, it was like a bit more of a connection to it. Um, but also I think also because like Carolina was the openly queer one in the book. That kind of like her story was about accepting that and like kind of blossoming that I was really liked. So she always just kind of feels the lightest of all of the characters because she's one of the ones that is most assured of who she is which adds kind of a nice play on her of she's not trying to be anyone for anyone else. She's just trying to be herself. So there's a sort of a purity to it. Um, and it kind of leads to a lot of like fun outfits for her because then I can just sort of make sure that it just seems like she's comfortable and she's like having fun all the time. Now that you say the word blossoming, that flower dress that she wears, when her and Nico finally start the relationship that we were all dying to see, it makes so much more sense. I love that. Um, so I feel like with Carolina, do you find her kind of a relatable character? Because I know I find her super relatable in my personal life experiences. Do you find that as well? I, I do. I mean, I, I kind of feel like, I think with, with, with sort of all the kids, like, I think we, after we get to at, past that age, I think we all kind of forget how messy being 18 is and how none of us made good decisions at that time and kind of like but like you kind of grow through that and that they're allowed to sort of make messes and i love the idea that that she's like just trying her best to like hold her life together 
Um, and then she kind of moved on, but then she also like realized that she needs this sort of this family in her life, and that it's a family that she gets to pick, um, and it's a family that, that makes her happy, but sort of I like, have to still kind of like hold who she is. That like I love that in the time gap that she had her own life, and kind of like holding that life, plus mixing her whole family back together, and she's like, okay, but like what is healthy for her? I love that she's the one about her own mental health, that she sort of is assured of what I need, and then I'm gonna also like help people with that. So you worked on Captain Marvel, Star-Lord, Runaways. Star-Lord, I, I think that Abigail Brand is like the strong female in that one, but all of these have very strong female characters. Does that kind of encourage you to work on them? Do you want to work on these, on these stories with strong female stars in them? Um, yes, uh, but it's not like, this has to have it. it just it, but whenever they do have that, it's more of a light. Like it's more of like like oh, this is like th there's an added thing to this. This is so, so much more cool that they're like everyone is strong. And I mean, especially you know, Abigail is so much fun. Um, Her outfits were some of my favorite. I loved those. They were so pretty. I mean, it was, it was, that was kind of like you know the start of really kind of being able to use fashion. Was like Chip let me use that with Abigail. Um, so it's like I you know I, on Captain Marvel I was drawing her in a uniform all the time. That when we got to use her in Star Lord, I was like. I had to like play with some outfits and like give her some different things. It's like it was just a lot of fun, and that kind of like opened the door. So when I got to Runaways, I was kind of already in that mode. 